everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Thomas, thanks for joining me here again today for another video. Today's video is going to be another in my series on design tools, and today I'm taking a closer look at Eagle App, which is a Mac and PC app that you can use to help organize your design assets and your audio and your video, all kinds of things. Super cool tool, so let's take a look. So I wanted to take a deep dive look at Eagle App today. And this is an app that I've been using quite a bit over the last few months in my design workflows. And I've been approaching this series on YouTube as more of a five best design tools, five best UX design tools, or five best plugins. But I really felt like this application was robust enough and useful enough that I wanted to cover it in more of a detailed video and take a deeper dive into the specific functionality of how this works. Nice thing about this app is it is Mac and PC both. So for all you Windows converts out there, you're able to leverage this in your design workflows as well, which is super nice. It is $29.95 uh, flat fee, so no subscription. That's always a big plus in my book. They give you free updates, so that's another big plus. Educational discounts as well, so that's always good. And the main idea behind this application is it is an empty container with a great search engine built into it, and you're able to dump all of your assets into it, whether it's stock photography or illustrations, PDFs, you can dump in MP4s in here in video formats. You can even dump in audio into this. It helps you sort and tag, and then ultimately search on this database so that you can find things quicker and having to go dig through all of your old folders of stuff to find a specific asset that you're looking for. All right, so let's take a look at the Eagle app itself. I already have it downloaded here, and this is the paid version. I believe the free trial version allows you to do some of this, but then of course you have to pay for it at some point. Uh, nice thing is you got this sidebar over here. You're able to collapse that and open it. I always love that about applications, just allows you to customize it to your own liking. If you don't use this a lot, you can just get that out of the way, get the full imagery going on, which is nice. And here you can see there is the ability to create libraries. So I have a YouTube library loaded up as well as my inspiration library. I've talked about this in other videos. I like to create an inspiration library, a folder on my desktop. I've now started using this to track that stuff, but basically anytime I run across a user experience or a piece of UI that I like or that's inspirational, I record that and I take a screenshot of it or whatever, and then I can use that later when I'm creating something just to inspire myself. So the libraries are super nice because it allows you to section up stuff and you can create a work one, you can create a personal one, you can have all kinds of different libraries that hold different types of assets, which just allows you to organize things how you choose. And then on this left-hand sidebar over here, you're able to have different categories here as well. So you can see I've got some untagged things to show you. Uh, random and all tags. So this is an alphabetical listing of all the tags I have, which is super nice because you're able to drill down in alphabetical order and see how things are tagged. And then you can just click through to those and see those individually. And of course, you have your trash here. And then down here, you have smart folders. So this is what I use the most. Smart folders are awesome because you're able to specifically tie to a tag or a type or a category, folder, color even, create time, just all kinds of different things in here. And what you can do then is just like most other smart folders work, you can say, I only want the type of GIF or I only want tags that are related to YouTube text or whatever. And then that automatically pulls in any type of asset that matches that query into your folders the next time that you add more to your app. You also have your more basic folders over here where you can just manually drag things in. So my favorite folder, spell my right, my favorite folder. And then you can just come in here and add specific things to that folder and they'll appear in that folder. But I just find the smart folders to work a lot better. They're automated and then that way, anytime it matches that query, just automatically does it for you. So super nice. So a couple other things to call out on the sidebar here, you are able to jump to folder and this is really useful when you have say hundreds of folders over here, you're able to dial in that folder directly and go straight to it. So that's nice and also search by tags and things like that. And then of course you have your ad up here so you can do all of these other options, I wanted to call this out as well. You can import from things like Pinterest. So that's really cool. If you already have a Pinterest board of images, just import directly into Eagle. And then of course you can collapse your sidebar. So that's always a nice benefit. I love getting that out of the way. And then here on the main stage, the meat of this application, I have the filters turned on up here. I like to keep these turned on, but the button for that is right here. And this just allows you to very quickly uh, filter out things like I only wanna see emoji or I only wanna see audio clips. So this is just a quick way to filter up here. And I love that Eagle allows you to filter by color. This is a unique option that I have not seen a lot of other places. So I just wanna sort by a color like white or black and it matches on those. You get that little red X up there and can clear it off 
which is just a nice UX touch. And then up here, another customization thing, I love when apps include this, is you're able to size your assets. So you can go really big, you can go kind of quarter screen like this or really small. So you can see as much on the screen as possible. And then up here in the title bar, you're also able to order by. This is right by the filter bar. This gives you a lot of flexibility. You're able to order by date, by title A to Z, Z to A, file size, which is nice, dimension, which is pretty cool. And then you can also even add in rating. If you want to give your images or assets a one to five star, you can then uh, filter by that, sort by that as well. So I just love when applications provide this type of functionality and this level of detail because it allows you to search and filter and order by things as you prefer and that matches your design workflow. And then up here, of course, you have the search I have squirrel spelled correctly, had this spelled wrong earlier, but this is pretty cool because it matches exactly on the squirrel graphic and it shows the time of the clip. It shows the file extension. You're able to scrub back and forth just by running your mouse over it. So that's really cool. And then the biggest plus for me here is that it shows that it is muted. I love when applications mute things right up front. I don't want to have to hover or specifically mute things on each individual instance. It's just nice to have it turned off so you don't have a bunch of sound blaring in the background. And then over here, you can also see it gives some of the properties of the individual assets. You have size, you can make some decisions based on that and other properties that will appear here depending on what type of asset it is, so color space or whatever. And last thing I wanted to cover here as well is just to show you how this works. So I have not dropped in the assets yet from my last video, so I was just gonna pull these in just to see how easy this is and how flexible it is. You can just drag and drop right into the interface. I've mentioned this before on videos, but I love when things just show you a nice user experience that, hey, when you're dragging on top of here, you can just drop right into the interface. Just uh, super cool. And then that drops these into your untagged here, which is great. So you can kind of manage these and then uh, do what you need to do to sort these correctly. What's really nice is you can select multiple assets and add a tag two multiple assets all at once. So I love that they do this, that you're able to just drag. You don't have to worry about selecting each one or making edits to each one individually. And then I can just mark this as handwritten text and that will now appear in my handwritten text over here. You can always tell if you have things that are untagged or unmodified. So that allows you to make sure that you're keeping up with your library because all of these tools are only as good as we make them. And if you aren't keeping up with categorizing things and adding the tags and things like that that you need to to make this work, it's not gonna work for you. Last thing I wanted to take a look at here today before we wrap up, the preferences. I am a big, big fan of a deep set of preferences that allows you to customize your interface and make it your own, which is exactly what Eagle does. You can see here that I can hide individual things. So if I don't want to show untagged, I can apply that disappears from over here. You can see I've already hid the uncategorized section because I don't use that. So I love that you're able to do that. And then you're able to get in here and really get down into mouse will behavior and just all kinds of settings launch automatically on login, which is nice show counts in the sidebar, all of these different things, as well as theming. So you're able to apply purple themes, gray, white, whatever you want. So I just really appreciate this deep, thorough preferences section that allows you to make Eagle App your own. Hopefully you got some value out of this video today and you're able to leverage Eagle App in one of your design workflows to organize your assets in a more clear and meaningful way. If you did get value, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that bell if you want to be notified of future videos in this series, as well as other videos on the channel. Thanks for joining me. Until the next video, I'll see you then.